Mary called him Mr. Henry Lawson. That parted but a year before, she never thought he'd come. She stammered, blushed, held out her hand and called him Mr. Gum. How could he know that all the way she longed to murmur John? He called her Miss Lebrook, asked if he was getting on. It parted but a year before, that loved each other well, and he'd been to the city and he'd come back such a swell. They longed to meet and fond embrace, or hungered for kissed, but Mary called him Mr. and they did call her Miss. He stood and leaned against the door, a stupid chef was he, and when she asked if he'd come in and have a cup of tea, he looked to left, he looked to right, and he glanced behind and slowly doffed his cabbage tree and said he didn't mind. She made a shy apology because the meat was tough, and when she asked if he was sure his tea was sweet enough, he stirred with he and sipped it twice and answered plenty quiet, and cut the smallest piece of beef and said that it was all right. She glanced at him at times and caught an awkward little cough. He started anything but her and said, I must be off. That evening he went riding north, a sad and lonely ride. She locked herself inside her room and there sat down and cried. It parted but a year before, we loved each other well. But she was such a country girl and he was such a swell. We longed to meet in fond embrace, we hungered for kiss. But Mary called her Mr. and we yet called her Miss.